Hello everyone, today we can see learning Python and today we'll work with at exit library in Python. So let's start. Uh, let's import at exit with import at exit. It's pre installed library, so you don't need to install anything. And then I can go uh, right here and yeah, here is the description of the library. It allows programmer to define multiple exit functions to be executed upon normal program termination. So what does that mean is that um, you have functions which can be executed before your program is stopped. And that's it. Okay, and actually what we'll need, first of all, is create a function. So define, uh, let's call exit function, exit function like that. And we don't need any parameters in here. So let's go with exit function, which simply prints uh, program, program stopped. Program stopped and that's it. So how we can register or register our function? We can go at exit dot register. Uh, I think registers your function. Uh, in our case, it's exit function, and it will be called once your program is stopped. So what I need to provide here is exit function. But again, we don't need to call that function. We need just to provide the name of the function. So exit function without parentheses. Okay. And now we can simply start our program. So let's start it. And as you can see, once our my program is stopped, it prints program stopped. If uh, after register I'll print uh, input for example let's go input as as you can see nothing is mm, printed yet but if I'll mm, press free so I'll uh, fill in the input and then I'll press enter to stop my program as you can see program stopped and actually that's it about that library so we can call functions which are executed once our program is stopped and then let's go with I will leave the input right here because uh, if you don't understand input is a plugin function which will not allow our code to go any further uh, until I press free so I view in the input and press enter and uh, then we'll go right here on the then line and we have no code uh, below and because of that our program is stopped okay I think you understand now and yeah actually that's it how we can register multiple functions so we can simply copy uh, let's copy that line Let's paste it right here and exit function number two. Program stopped two. That's it. Okay, and now how we can re register multiple functions. So we'll just simply copy that line, paste it here, and instead of exit function, uh, just exit function, we'll write exit function two. And now let's run our program. Let's fill in the input. And as you can see, program stopped two, program stopped. If I will change the order, so for example, uh, the first functions to be registered is the function exit function two, and the second one is exit function. So I change the order. And now let's write one, two, three right here. And as you can see, program stopped, program stopped two. So we work with last in first out concept right here, which means that the function which is called the first is the function which is registered the last. And yeah, actually that's it. So last in first out. You can read about that concept, but I think you understand. Okay, now let's go to one function, one function and exit function and how we can use parameters in that function. So for example, x and y. And what if we need to print x and y right here? If I run my program right now, so let's run and let's fill in the input. As you can see, type error, exit function missing two required positional arguments x and y. And how we can provide them? So we can provide them in uh, right here. For example, uh, 1 and 5, like that. So now let's start again, let's fill in the input, and as you can see, it says 1 and 5. So program stopped 1 and 5 as x and y parameters. So yeah, actually that's it. And moreover, what you can do is provide, for example, x, or let's call y equals 1 and x equals 5. So actually what it does, and okay, I'll demonstrate, and then as you can see, 5, 1. So actually what it does, it uses args and quarks parameters in Python. And I have a video about them, and you can watch it right now. Okay, then how we can unregister our function? So for example, I don't want to use that function uh, after input, and to unregister the function, we can simply call unregister, and provide the same function right here. So unregister exit function. Now, if I start my code, so as you can see, my function exit function is registered and then we wait for the input let's fill in the input and then let's press the enter so as you can see nothing is printed because i unregistered my function uh, right here and you can do it with multiple functions i think you understand okay so now imagine that we don't want to use at exit register uh, in our python code and what we can do is use decorators because they are more they are more readable and they're more convenient for other programmers and how we can do this 
So we can call uh, that sign. I don't know how it's called. Then at exit dot register, like that. And then let's go with let's move right here. And now if I run my program, so as you can see, run program stopped and program uh, process finished. So everything works fine. If you don't want to use uh, at exit register somewhere in your code, you can use that decorator and i have a video about decorator so you can watch it right now and actually that's pretty convenient so you can register your function right when you define it good luck